Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Like I said in last night's video, we're going to go ahead and start with the uh, final assembly on the uh, 47RE build. If you guys have not been able to catch any of the videos and you want to watch them all, put a link right up here for the playlist and it'll be just the playlist for the 47RE build um, if you want to go back and see them. And once again, thank you guys so much to the ones who have used the Amazon link it is the uh, second link in the description right below hot shots if you guys are ready for an oil change make sure and check out hotshotsecrets.com and use coupon code cm73 and that will get you a 10 percent discount the second link is for uh, just an in general amazon link if you guys shop on amazon you want to help the channel out it's absolutely free just when you do your amazon shopping use that link in the description so let's go ahead and get started and uh, doing some final assembly on this main case. All right, we'll start with this apply piston housing. We'll go ahead and put our gasket on there, make sure all your bolts are lined up, and then also make sure all your oil passages that you need are lined up. Now there is a tool that they suggest you use to put this in. It's like a little press tool, but I don't have that. It came out just fine, so I'm sure it'll go in just fine also. I'm gonna put just a little bit of transmission fluid on there before we slide it in place. And give her just a little bit of pressure. Making sure everything's lined up properly as far as your gasket. like that and go ahead and start all your bolts and then these will get torqued to 13 foot pounds all right with that on there and torched we can go ahead and do our rear reverse servo i'm going to take some transmission fluid and put on there now this will be the same as the ply piston you want to make sure and walk that lip seal around Go ahead and put her spring in place. And then her snap ring. All right, with that in there, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the apply lever. I'll make sure and put some your new O-rings on and put some transmission fluid on them. Go ahead and put some transmission fluid on the shaft. Put that in place. And we'll put in our rear band shaft. And we'll go ahead and put in our front servo and apply lever there also. If you remember my kit, I've got the build aluminum front servo. So we're gonna go ahead and get this in place.
install the spring. Put it back on so you can get your snap ring in. Go ahead and put the front lever in also and then there's a plug that goes in the front to hold this rod in all right next up we're gonna do the rear band and rear drum and also the sprag a roller bearing want to take the roller bearing and put a good coat of transmission fluid on it and set it down inside there After you get the bearing in there, put your band in first. I'm gonna put a little bit of transmission fluid on it too. And then you can set your rear drum in place. All right, after you get your rear drum in place, you wanna make sure it turns clockwise only. Just like that. Put your thrust washer in place, and those are tabbed. Um, I use the new metal thrust washer, and then you put your snap ring on there. You wanna make sure the sprag, gear, sprag bearing underneath it here, um, they have it completely seated down inside there. Otherwise, you will not be able to get your rear drum in far enough to be able to put your snap ring on. So just wanted to take a minute and show you that. And I have moved it over here to my saw horse. That way it'll allow me to drop the uh, intermediate section down all the way through. Um, I'm doing things just a little bit different as far as assembly than I thought I was going to. I'm not probably not going to use the uh, stand that I made at all. I'm kind of setting everything up and doing it this way. And it's working out pretty good just setting it on the saw horse. So right now we'll go ahead and grab the intermediate assembly. And... Uh, start getting that set up and getting that in and then we can put the other stuff in also. All right, go ahead and take your intermediate assembly and carefully drop it down in there. And that lower, that rear planetary will lock into this rear, or the, the rear reverse drum. All right, with the intermediate section in, you want to put in your hardened washer, your thrust spacer. Set that in there. And then this is the uh, thrust washer that was in there for the input shaft end play. I'm going to go ahead and mic this. I'm going to put the same size back in and uh, that's going to give me a good starting point to uh, check it after we get everything completely assembled. So I'll grab the one that I need and put it in there. I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, grease or something and keep that stuck in the input shaft and then that goes right down on top of there just like that. All right, my old thrust washer measures 69,000 so I have it stuck in there. We'll go ahead and set this in place now.
Then we can get the direct drum and put it on top of there. Make sure your direct drum locks into your sun shell. With all the teeth lined up, we can go ahead and set this in place. All right, with that done, we can go ahead and put in our front direct band. Get our strut and our strut anchor. Until I do the final torque and final assembly, I don't know if this has to come back off yet or not because of uh, input shaft end play. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these ceiling washers that were on there for the time being. One thing to note is when you put your pump down in place, make sure you have all of your oil jackets or oil galleys lined up properly. All right, now I'm gonna do the band adjustment, do the rear band first. You torque it to 70, both of them will get torqued to 72 inch pounds. And then the rear band gets backed off three turns. So we'll start here. There's one, two, three. And we'll go ahead and lock it down. And we'll do the front band. All right, so you saw me set the band adjustment for the rear, but um, I don't have a square socket that fits the uh, front band adjustment. Um, some of these are a square and then some of them are Torx. The transmission that we took up and did the uh, did some trading with for the torque converter, it had a Torx adjustment screw in it and I almost took it out to be able to do this front band adjustment. Um, but I thought I would be able to use like a 12 point and put on there to be able to do it. But um, no, I'm not able to do that. Uh, for your front band, you tighten it up to 72 inch pounds and then you back it off. The book says an inch and seven eight, or I'm sorry, one and seven eighths turns. Um, I'm gonna back mine off about at one and a half turns just to set it a little bit tight um, because everything is new. So other than that, pretty much final assembly on the case is complete. Um, we need to go, I'm not, I'm going out Wednesday um, to get that stuff done. So it might be a couple of days before I do another transmission video because I want to get everything set up as far as the overdrive extension housing uh, for the uh, shim that we need and also for the uh, intermediate shaft shim uh, right here. We're going to get those dimensions taken care of and get everything that we need there. So uh, maybe we'll do something a little bit different tomorrow night and work on the engine or I do have something for the uh, the third gen also. So. Uh, I guess with that being said, that's pretty much all I have tonight. If you guys don't mind, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already done so, and we'll talk to you guys later on.